Brought to you by Curious Moran Land. Let me see if I can model my shirt there. All right, so let's look at the end result, and then I want to do a video showing you how we got there. And so this is more of a uh, video for more for teachers if they want to look for ideas. So what you're looking at here is two foldables with the four macromolecules, and then when you open up the foldable, let's do this one, you'll have information about it. And I'm going to zoom in and out, and I'm going to show you a couple of student examples because this year they really hit it out of the park. So for each one of these molecules, they had to tell me a certain set of information. But let's start with um, how I started with this. First, let's go back to the PowerPoint. I gave them, you know, the standard information, what's a monomer, what's a polymer. But then um, I gave them four slides, the elements, monomer or polymer names, and then we did fill out a note sheet. Here's lipids, and this is all in a previous video that I made where I go over these. So I'm not going to show the slides again, but uh, we go all the way through nucleic acids. So they got that. Next, the students, because of my philosophy at Right to Learn, had to fill out this handout, which goes back to me and my friend Alan Kaufman. We've been doing, uh, we've been taught together for over 30 years, um, and they had to fill out the same information. This part was the information and then they had to use a PowerPoint with additional notes that's on Schoology to get the um, extra information. And then this was just looking at it from another point of view, multiple ways of describing it. So what's going to happen next is, and then I, we fill this out, we give them all this information. So that was just the information. Here's the macromolecule, here's the elements, here's the monomer or polymer name examples. And then we added in another layer by giving them structures. So we're still revisiting. So monosaccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide. And then lipids, we got amino acids. This time we went through and we counted and figured out the peptide bonds. And then, of course, your uh, nucleotide. So that led to the directions. And here are the basic directions. So for them, I gave them this. And then it said, all right, here, um, for each one, here's your outside cover. And then your inside cover. Now. I've modified it over the years, but I wanted them for the structure this year. I really stressed writing the polymer if, if possible. And so I, this year, I also tell them, you can put the picture up top. It doesn't matter. This is the minimum requirement. And then I told them for the polymer, I want them to draw the polymer for the structure, except for nucleic acids because of the three parts. And then I modified some things for, for say, uh, lipids. So these are handouts that they did before this. And then we added in this huge packet, the cold practice, what you know. I told them I wanted them to show this for the, uh, for the lipids, so showing the glycerol and the fatty acid for a standard triglyceride. So let's look at some of the student work. And like I said, this is just a short video, but this was the first one. Some did it like this. And then some did a tab like that. So I'll show a couple different examples. So you got, here they have carbohydrates. And for them, they just put their picture. I said, use all your space. You got two tabs for each one of these. For this one, the proteins, they went into great detail, functions, examples. And then what was interesting this year, my students and all the samples I picked, they really showed the peptide bonds. So let me show you. Um, this one for proteins. So if you will zoom in, they again showed you where you could find the peptide bond. I always tell them NCC, NCC, N amine, central carbon, carboxylic acid, and then the next one would be where the peptide bond is. All right, so they actually emphasize the peptide bond for this one. This one, so for lipids, they showed you the triglyceride, which they were supposed to do. Now, for the carbohydrates, I said I wanted at least three to show the polysaccharide. Well, let's, this student right here, and then I'll sh just show you two more and just wrap up this video. So th this student put, the, put it on their own paper, and I actually praised students for doing that. Hey, I'm not going to accept, oh, I didn't, out, I didn't have the color paper you gave. Now, I use pink for one class, yellow for another class. So for this one, 
they look at their proteins. But if I will just cover this, they actually show this is nucleic. Um, they show the a polypeptide chain and they show how it's being broken down into individual amino acids. Very, very detailed. Right? Um, their um, glycerol was pretty good stuff. This is like tri triglyceride, but this again, really good detail. Nucleic acids. So they showed the three parts, the phosphate, the sugar, the nitrogen base, and they even gave the examples down here. And what I like about this one with carbohydrates, so they gave me some good examples. They tell me the elements, they tell me the monomer, polymer, and gave me examples of them. And then for their polysaccharide, you can look really close, let's zoom in here, see what they did. So they drew a polysaccharide, but they labeled the first one a monosaccharide, and then a dye, and then showed how you get the poly. So I thought that was pretty, very creative work on this. So um, it's a classic case of you give students some basic information, tell them to run with it, and these students definitely did with it, did run with it. So very happy with that. Brought to you by Curious Marineland.